Yeah, I mean, soccer program, I think when kids come in in 2019, they're a lot different than I was in 1998. Um, more mature, like I said, um, able to handle more things on their own, a little bit more independent. So that's what we're dealing with nowadays. It's evolved in a, I would say in a unique way. You know, when I first came here, we were a little uh, all over the place. Uh, we're still trying to find our identity as a team. And like now that our coach, like, you know, found a good group of players, I think at uh, this season, like we really found like the style that we like to play. So I think that's how it's changed from my freshman year to now. We're kind of testing the waters my freshman year to sophomore year, kind of seeing what fit, what didn't. And now with this group of players, like we're, we have a lot of experience. We have a few young players, but it's a lot of experience. We have a lot of seniors and juniors starting. So I think now we really found our identity as a team. I think last year we had a really tight knit group of guys and we have that this year as well but I think this year everyone's definitely on the same page we're looking to build on you know our success from last year and do even better this year so um, we're definitely here to win this year. Definition of hard work for our program is um, you know putting 100 percent in every day and you know, being accountable uh, and just trying to get better and we try to enforce that every day of practice you know with the competition um, you know we have a lot of good players on the team we have a 30-man roster uh, and not everybody uh, knows who's going to start the next game. You know, we want it to be a competition through that hard work, um, through that accountability in their play, um, and make sure that they're competing for their playing time. You know, we don't play uh, teams that we know we're just going to roll over on. We want competition, uh, and that's the only way to prepare us for our first uh, conference game and for nine of them uh, throughout the year. So, you know, our philosophy has always been the, the tougher the games, the more preparation you get. Um, and then obviously through practice pushing the guys and, and never taking the foot off the pedal and, and making them understand that win or lose the next day is focusing on building towards that next win. The culture, it's, it's a brotherhood. I mean, everybody's going to say that. We have, uh, we have a really close-knit team that loves spending time with each other. Uh, I think that they build that on their own and I think that's a little bit through my recruiting and my assistant coaches recruiting, recruit good people, good soccer players and when they get here they just build that really on their own. So there's definitely one thing about this team like whether someone's hurt or not playing like we all support each other whether it's you're playing the most minutes or you're not playing at all like we're all, you, we, treat, we treat each other the same so I think that's that's definitely a good thing about our team. The first night of preseason, we all just get together, you know, watch movies, crack jokes, kind of just gel them into the team, you know, make them feel welcome. You know, we don't want anyone to feel like they're an outcast or they don't belong here or whatever because, you know, our coach recruited them for the reason of playing soccer. And, you know, we want them to feel not only the soccer aspect of it, but like, like I said, like we're very close. Like you would think like we're all brothers if you saw us walking together. We're always in like little groups. Like if you see us in the hallway, there's like at least, you'll never see one of us alone. Like there's gonna be at least two, three other guys with us. Doesn't matter what grade you're in, what position, how much you play, you're hurt or whatever. You're, you're the same, everyone's the same. On the same playing field. And I think that's how we gel the team together. Everyone's just the same. The team culture is definitely hardworking. Um, we have a great, you know, group, group of guys that are, you know, all here to work hard and, you know, uplift each other. Um, you know, we're all positive all the time, making sure we're joking around, you know, having a good time in the locker room. Um, so it's definitely more of a family. It's, you know, it's not a bunch of individuals. We're definitely like the true definition of a team. In the classroom, it's, you know, just like you wouldn't miss a practice, you can't miss a class. You know, it's doing all, all of your assignments, you know, preparing for exams. Um, it's, you know, wanting to be there and getting the most out of your experience. We set our own individual goal. Um, team GPA was just over 3.2 last year, which we're very proud of. Um, it's been over a 3.0 um, for as long as I can remember, um, and we set a goal for you know 3.3 this year. Uh, and and the guys, you know, they do it um, on their own, but using the resources they have here at Stockton, um, the academic resources as far as the the writing labs and the math labs, leaning on each other. Our older guys do a great job of uh, mentoring younger um, student athletes on the team, you know, finding out what they have in common in regards to their majors. Um, and really taking the younger players under their wings. As far as what made me want to coach, everybody wants to play the sport, wants to be a professional, and, and I would be um, 
remiss if I didn't say I wanted to be that guy. But once you get into college and you start really learning your sport, you know, the ins and outs, the tactical pieces, uh, how much a coach can influence a team uh, at practice and, and even during a game made me really want to stay involved. Um, made me want to try and teach the game and, and what you know knowledge I've learned over my career as a player passed that along. So it was just kind of a natural progression. Uh, but I really enjoy the coaching piece, um, probably as much as I did playing. My favorite moment as a player has to be winning a national championship. Uh, it's really hard to pick one moment over a four-year career, but that's the ultimate goal. Um, so when you win one, that's got to be it. Uh, winning a national championship, um, a close game, which was my senior year, last game I ever got to put the uniform on, um, which it took me about 10 hours after the game ended probably to take it off. I think I slept in it. Um, so winning a national championship, trumps everything else you do uh, when you're a student athlete. As far as best moment as head coach, any conference win is huge. Uh, every year when you win a conference uh, game in the NJAC and the men's soccer, it's really important. Well, one definitely was beating Rowan at home 3-1 uh, last year, because my freshman year, we lost to them twice. So it left a bad taste in our mouth and uh, definitely to get some revenge against our biggest rival. Probably how um, close-knit all the guys are. Um, in preseason, we all live together. A lot of other schools don't do that. And I think, you know, for team building and chemistry, you know, that really uh, is like the best thing for me, just being close with all the guys on the team. I just expect us all to be on the same um, mindset of, you know, working hard for each other. And no matter what happens on or off the field, you know, we're going to have each other's back. Um, and I expect to have a great season, you know, making memories on and off the field as well. Like the big thing, I, like I'm, I'm the captain of the team, so I always say like guys, let's play for each other. Like I always say like these four years are going to fly by, so you don't want any game to just pass you by like it's nothing. So like I've already been here for three years and it's, it's flying by. At the end of their career, what would I like them to walk away with? I want them to, to say coach pushed me as hard as, as, I, as I could go. Um, held me accountable for my play on the field as well as how I acted off the field, whether it be in the classroom or uh, representing the school on the road. Um, and I want them to you know, leave the program and say, I did everything I could. I enjoyed my time. I want to spend more time here as an alumni um, and be invested. If they're not invested when they leave here, uh, then I didn't do a good enough job um, getting them to be all in. So the investment after um, graduation is really where you start to see um, how you connected with a player over four years or however long they were here. I'm very happy with the place of the program um, and the people that we have in the program um, and I'd like to just continue to move that forward and just try and win as many games as we can as we're you know having a positive you know team culture. I think as the program has evolved and, and the academics have stock, stocked and evolved, I think we're getting a better uh, pool of uh, recruits every year. Um, and now we are uh, venturing out nationally where we have a, a player just came in from Washington State, we have a player from Pennsylvania. Um, I just got off the phone yesterday with a friend of mine who moved out to Colorado. He has three kids that want to come east. Uh, so um, Jersey is very tough to recruit. There's, plenty of colleges and everybody else comes in here, um, we have to go outside the, the boundaries a little bit. Stay one step ahead of them. Um, uh, as the players evolve through here, they get a little more uh, confident and, and asking questions and certain things, so I need to stay one step ahead of them. I think since I've been a freshman, the program has done a 180. When I came in, um, I remember there's a lot of things that 
I was kind of skeptical about and wasn't happy with between the senior leadership to just the overall chemistry of the team. There was a lot of gaps and missing holes um, compared to now. Everything is a lot more open, everybody is a lot closer, and it's a way better team dynamic. My favorite part about being on the team is that you have, well now we have 33 best friends. Like, no matter if you're coming in as a freshman or like me, a senior, like every year you, you gain more friends and you maintain relationships throughout your four years here. The culture, I think, it starts with the, uh, our captains. They, they, they are great leaders um, and we, we pick them for that reason. They solve most of the problems because they're uh, interacting with the players every day. Our, our assistant coaching staff is excellent. They, they go to them next and, uh, and then if, if there's a severe problem or a, uh, a logistics problem that nobody can solve, then I, I, it comes to me. But most of the time, it's, it's, it's been nipped in the bud and it's um, with great leadership from the players up. The culture of this team is hard work and accountability, so always, always giving your best, doing all you can to perform at your best, but also being accountable for your mistakes when you make them, whether it's at practice or in the game, just always like owning up to what you did and trying to get better from it. I think the culture of our team is just really, the backbone of us is tough, whether that's physical toughness, mental toughness, it's a combination. I think we, well our league in general is a very physical league, and like play wise. I think my leadership style is more of like like an openness. If like someone feels that they need to say something, they can. I'm not one to have set rules. Like I think everyone's an adult and that they can make their decisions on their own and that everyone can feel free to step up and offer their ideas and whatnot. But at the end of the day, like coach does come to me and Alexa for what he wants the team to be. So we do have to put our foot down sometimes, but I don't ever do it in a way where I would lose the respect of my teammates. This year has really just been a lot from working with Jules and figuring out kind of how she does things because we're kind of different leaders. Um, I think I'm a bit more vocal. Um, so for this year, I'm really just working on kind of establishing myself as a leader this year and just carrying it over for next year. My favorite moment so far was our Rutgers Camden game. Um, we we absolutely needed that game to get the three seed for the NJAC tournament. So, like from the get go, that like from warm ups, that game was just full throttle, full throttle, like yeah, it was craziness. A crazy game. It was so intense, and of course, it goes to overtime because why wouldn't it go to overtime? Nothing's so ever easy. Go to overtime. But we really like that was just like a. We just showed our grit during that game, and we came out with the win. And I just remember, like, I think we were down one nothing. We were. We came back, yeah. and I just remember, like, we won and just like did a dog pile, and it was just like I, so much. Fun. I remember that last play. I got Emily Frazee had the ball on the sideline, and I'm screaming at her to just run, like run forward. And then somehow, all of a sudden, it's over my head, and I see Selena has the ball, and I'm standing right in front of the goal. Yes, and I'm and screaming, she... shoot it, shoot it. <laughs> And then all of a sudden it's in the net and just... And I just remember getting chills when oh I saw my, it go in the I net. Had I had yeah, I went and then since I played center back, I had the longest run to celebrate. So I sprint down the field and everyone's like on top of each other. It was just like... It was the best feeling. It was so it much It was fun. like everybody always talks about the I made it moment like in life. And that was like our I made it moment for the season. Because yeah, like, we had to we win did it. and we did. So. Yeah, like it was just, it was the best was thing great, ever. Yeah. I'll tell you four of them have been uh, to the NCAA tournament. It's a great experience, um, four consecutive years, and it was a, a great run, and, and, and now that feeling is there, and the, our players don't know it. Our assistant coach, Courtney Doherty, does, because she was a player at that time, so we're trying to instill that into them.
hard work, and you just said it, is coming day to day and working hard. Some people uh, come from programs where they were the best player and they knew they were starting, so they didn't have to work hard. Maybe two, three days, they weren't gonna lose their position. Here, you, you, you come to work every day, or if, if not, there's somebody who wants it. Um, and we've been interchanging as it is so far, and we're going to, we, we instill it to them. You come to play, come to practice, and um, there might be a bad day, we get it. But uh, overall, somebody wants your job if you don't want it anymore. Well, first, when we recruit, we make sure that they're solid students. Um, that there's not going to be any issues. I don't, um, I don't have study halls in our program because our students are, are pretty well sound. I think our last semester we were 3.4 and that's with 30 girls, so um, overall GPA. So we, we do the legwork to make sure we're getting the right students academically that we don't have to worry about. Occasionally there's always one or two, um, but we, we deal with them on an individual basis, but overall we have a solid group academically and graduate on time and either go for their master's and doctrine here or um, go back out in the, the real world. In my personal opinion, I think being a student athlete helps you in the classroom because you only have a certain amount of time per day that you can get things done, so you really don't have an option but to do them. Like wake up, lift, go to class, practice, come home, shower, go to the library, and then study, and then do the whole thing over again. The challenges are to stay focused, uh, make sure that we do not uh, pay attention to the past. We pay attention to what's right in front of us. Um, it's one of the uh, uh, concepts that I have. You can't change the past, but tomorrow we can change. So as long as we can keep keep um, the program going the right direction, I think we're getting great pool of players. And, uh, stealing a couple here and there and getting some Division One transfers through the, the, the networking. So um, it's a bright future. I mean, we have a very talented team right now, and I think next year could be even better uh, with the recruits that are in the pool right now. Rolls phrase.